There are many times when a picture needs editing, but not the whole picture. You might want to select a specific area to be highlighted, darkened, resized, given special effects, or even removed. That's when you want to create a selection. This chapter introduces the basic concept of creating selections, about the different kinds of selection tools, and how you can turn a selected area into an object. But first, let's go to the toolbar panel and check out just a few of its basic features for creating selections. One tool you'll be using quite often is the Pick tool, which is simply for selecting and manipulating anything in your image. You should remember that when no particular area has been selected in an image, any command that you apply affects the base image. But what if you want to make an adjustment to only a certain area of an image? For instance, you might want to highlight only one of the buildings in this picture. You can do it with a selection area. To do this, click on the lower right corner of the Selection Tool button in the Tool Panel. As with many of the buttons on the toolbar, you'll see that this button actually contains a variety of tools. The first tool listed is the Standard Selection Tool, which lets you select areas of an image based on a preset size or shape, such as a rectangle or a circle. Select the Standard Selection Tool. Go to the Attribute bar and choose Rectangle from the drop-down menu as the shape you want to use. Drag your mouse over the area of your image that you want to select and release. You've now created a selection area that you can edit separately from the rest of the image. For an example of applying an effect to a selection, go to the Format menu and select Brightness and Contrast. Click on the upper right thumbnail three times to increase both the brightness and contrast. Click OK. As you can see, the building you want to highlight is now brighter and stands out from the rest of the picture. One thing to take note of is that whenever you edit a selection area, it becomes an object. And we'll explain more about objects in the next chapter. The Lasso tool lets you select a specific shape by letting you outline the area you want. Even better, when you finish creating your area, you can still edit the outline point by point. Click on the Selection button in the Tool Panel and choose the Lasso tool. Again, work on the same building image and start selecting your area by clicking on a starting point. Then, add new points by clicking around the area you want to select. You can complete your selection area either by making a complete circle back to the original point or by simply double-clicking on your last point. At this point, you can still edit the selection area by clicking on the control points and then dragging them to a new location. You can also add new control points by clicking anywhere within the line paths. When you're done, double-click the selection area or click Finish at the attribute bar to change the editable path into a selection. The Magic Wand tool creates a selection area by selecting specific colors. This is particularly useful if either the subject of the image or the background is a distinct color, for instance, a blue sky background. To make a selection, click on the Magic Wand tool in the Tool panel. Use the Similarity tool in the Attribute panel to adjust the sensitivity of the color that you click on. Click on your image to create a selection area. You'll want to experiment with this feature. Simply undo your selection and try again, adjusting the sensitivity until you're satisfied with your results. Before you select an area, there's a way to make sure that the edges won't look rough. You remember that previously, when we brightened a selection area, there was a distinct outline for the selection area. By softening the edge, you can help it blend more smoothly. Before you make your selection, go to the Attribute Toolbar and adjust the Soft Edge feature to 50. Now select the same area of the building that you did before. Go again to the Format menu and select Brightness and Contrast. Again, click on the upper right thumbnail to increase the brightness and contrast. As you can now see, with a softer edge on the selection area, it blends better with the base image. In this chapter, we've introduced you to selections and how to create them from a base image. In the next chapter, we'll teach you about how selection areas can become objects, as well as how you can edit and resize objects to enhance your pictures.